How's it going, y'all? So I want to make a quick little video about Daisy UI. I've been kind of looking into this a little bit. And for the most part, I use Tailwind CSS now for my side projects. And one thing I noticed about Tailwind is you have to like build a lot of components yourself because it gives you the flexibility to like do what you need to do. But at the same time, they don't give you a bunch of pre-made components. So in terms of me not being good at design and not wanting to spend a bunch of time making components, I'd rather just find a library that like out of the box just provides me with a bunch of components that I may or may not need in my project. So yeah, that's why I've been kind of looking in the Daisy UI. I wanted to kind of just give a quick little overview about it. But um, the way I've been doing stuff before is like I go to like the Tailwind UI components page. Uh, like I go here to components and then I try to find something that would be useful, like a hero section. And then I just go to the code and grab it. I don't know what the licensing is on like the, the free snippets they give you. But that's kind of how I've been doing stuff. It's not the best. And honestly, like you could always just pay them like what is it, 99 bucks or whatever it is to get all access to all their components. But I don't want to pay money for some components. So obviously there's some free choices out there. There's always free choices you can do. And Daisy UI has like a lot of pre-built styling that you can put on your components and it's pretty cool. Um, what I'm not too sure about though is it does follow kind of like a, a traditional CSS naming approach which that kind of might go against like how Tailwind is supposed to be structured but I think under the hood like um, this is just using Tailwind to like uh, let me just go to the install real quick. I'm kind of jumping around but it tells you how to set it up basically in your Tailwind config file you just add it as a plugin and then you have access to a bunch of classes out of the box that you can start applying. So for an example, a button, all you have to do is put a button class on your component, like so, and you will get a styled button. And of course they give you like primaries and secondaries and stuff. I haven't really looked too much into how you actually like customize it, but they have a decent set of pre-made styles that you can use. Uh, let's see if they have a modal. So a modal component, you click on it, you get a little modal, has a nice faded background. So out of the box, like, it's pretty easy to just like pull in their pre-made classes and apply it. And they give you examples of how you can do it. So you're not really locked into a component system per se. Um, it seems like it's more of like, they just give you the classes and you can use those classes. So I think I have a modal and I'm kind of doing that here. Let me see. So I have like this little application I've been playing around with. And when you create an assignment, it opens up a modal. And I don't remember what I called this modal. I guess it's called the teacher dashboard modal here. I'm actually using a package called React Daisy UI, which honestly I might just get rid of this React package because it doesn't really have that many stars and like I don't know if it's really maintained and I've, I've already ran into like one or two bugs so I'm in the process of like deleting all this from my code base and just using the the raw examples that they give us. But they have a pretty um pretty nice set of things right just look through this they have like alerts it kind of reminds me of bootstrap which is pretty cool um where you have like all these pre-made stylings and classes you can use. And at the same time, you can easily like configure them because it's just Tailwind, right? So if you go to like configs or customizing, they kind of walk you through how you could potentially customize some stuff. So like, let's say you can use the Daisy UI utility class like this, um, but you can also add your own like Tailwind things to it, right? So if you have a button and you want to make it rounded, like it doesn't stop you from just doing that. So let's go back to, uh, I guess, the classroom dashboard here and this has a teacher dashboard and there's probably a button somewhere right here so like for example i could just apply whatever tailwind classes i want to make it my own like custom styling if i wanted to and i don't have like this struggle of going in because it's like a a pre-made react component and i don't have access to go into the component and customize it as i need to so that's pretty nice i mean seems straightforward you can also like overwrite so let's try that real quick. It, these are the things that you always want to look out for when you're using something new. Like how easy is how easy or hard is it for you to configure it to be your own thing, right? At some point, it, the business is going to ask you to customize something, and you don't want to get into the situation where like it's impossible to add customizations to your styling. Like maybe something like Material UI might be an example of like when stuff gets really hard to customize. I haven't used it, but I just heard some stories about it. But it looks like if you just wanted to apply that styling on every single button, you could just go to your global and you could just redefine a button class and you could just apply around it on it. Is that how it kind of works? 
So, yeah, let's see if we can kind of change that up a little bit. Does that change anything? Rounded, full. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, every button, I guess, will be rounded in my uh, design system now. Now, I kind of wonder, like, can I override this? Like, BG, let's say BG green of uh, 400. Does that actually override the button? It does. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with that. Like, it just gives you the flexibility to override, like, their button classes however you want. So that's good. Um, let's see what other stuff they kind of give us. I haven't really read through these docs, to be honest. I mean, I don't know why I'm even making a video. I haven't really explored this, but that's kind of how I do things on my channel. I just give you a really quick peek at stuff, and I only know, like, 1% of what I'm saying. So maybe, like, 5%. Theme generators. Anyway, I mean, just check this out. Um, check it out for yourself. I'm going to use it for my side project and to see, like, how it is, how it works. And uh, I'd be curious to know what your opinion is on it if you used it in the past. I know some people use headless UI, but like I was originally using this, but this is all the components they give you. It's like, what is this, 10 things? So it's kind of lackluster, right? You want more components. I don't want to have to like start designing my own stuff. And the fact that it's like tied into, I think the same people who made Tailwind at some point, this is probably going to be, you know, you have to probably buy, buy a license to get these components as well. So I'd rather just use something that's hopefully from the get-go always going to be free, um, which I hope this is. You never know these days. Something is free for six months, and then all of a sudden they put it behind a paywall. But, yeah, just wanted to share that with you all. If you guys like this, leave me a comment. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Also, join my Discord if you want to talk to me directly or talk to other people in my community who are trying to learn how to code and learning about React and JavaScript. Good community, so be sure to join my Discord and stick around. Have a good day and happy coding.